Hey, what's going on, peeps? Derek here, bringing you day 19 of 31 Days of Horror. What I got for you guys today is another film released by Wild Eye Releasing. Just came out this year, recently, I believe. It's actually uh, the new film from a director I respect, and I've seen a few of his films. And that director's name is Brett Piper. He's done like Shaka Rammer, Screaming Dead, Muck Man few other films that I haven't seen but those ones are really solid films for like uh, the indie low budget feel to and the special effects he uses especially the stop motion animation this film is no exception and it goes by the title of Queen Crab this uh, film is also produced by Mark Polonia if you haven't seen my uh, earlier review this uh, I think it was last week of Jurassic Prey, Mark Polonia directed that film and he produced this one with uh, Brett Piper. Kinda funny after I watched Jurassic Prey then I watched this. I'll, tell, I'll let you know when I get to how I feel about this one. The main plot of this one, we're introduced to like our main uh, character of this film. Her name's Melissa. She's like a young girl her parents don't really like uh, have anything to do with her. They, she's like a void in their life, pretty much. Especially her father. Her father's like a scientist who's uh, working on this growth serum to make food grow bigger. So Melissa's lonely and she has really no friends when she's young. So she uh, sees this crab in the pond near our lake and she becomes friends with it and names it uh, Petrie I believe that's what she named the crab it's a very cool scene because the crab is like a mixture of like a I think a real crab or a model crab with stop motion and the stop motion is really solid for like this little like crab it's a really cute scene between the two of them so what happens is uh, she takes these uh, berries from her father's lab and feeds them to the crab. But she doesn't know that these berries have this growth serum in them, which pretty much makes the crab grow bigger during years. But what happens is this accident in the lab and her parents' house explodes and her parents end up dead. So she ends up staying with uh, her uncle Ray, who's uh, played by Ken Van Sant. He's the sheriff of the town then it goes through like 20 years later and all these weird occurrences start happening around the town like cows go missing there's weird sightings of like crab shells like these weird sacks of like uh look like egg sacks so they get this uh, guy from the wildlife conservative, I believe that's what it is, to come down and help investigate with Ken Van Sant's character, the sheriff. And pretty much what they gather is it's this crab, and it's pretty much like a, not really like a, doing any harm in its own mind. It's like an animal, but it's causing havoc, and it starts killing people. And it's pretty much them trying to stop this crab from destroying and figuring out a way to stop it. It's the main plot of the film. Now my thoughts on this one. Uh, stop motion animation is amazing in this film. The crab is like uh, really well done. Brett Piper did a real job, good job with the stop motion animation of this crab. And it's little ones also is like the little crab earlier in the film and uh, I wish there was a little more action in this though because it is a slow build up but Brett Piper this is more of a homage to like the early like Ray Harryhausen and Will O'Brien films of the 50s and 60s like the Black Scorpion or let's say like a, what's that one Ray Harryhausen did uh, It Came From Beneath the Sea. It's in the vein of those films. 
which is kind of cool because I actually did reviews on a few Ray Harryhausen ones that I revisited earlier in this month. And this is a really like good homage to those films, like the all the effects, like the planes and stuff, and what they used back then. Fred Piper did a really good job with that. It does have a slow build up to it though, so it might not be for everyone. Now let's get into the negative about the film. The one thing I'll gripe about this film is like some of the subplots, like with Melissa's friend and coming to visit her after like years from LA or whatever she came from. She was like an actress, I think. Kind of didn't make sense, in my opinion. It was kind of weird and out of place for the film. And even though, like, I like, like, uh, a few of the performances, especially, like, Ken Van Sant, I don't think he's, like, the greatest actor ever, but he do, does well in, like, certain roles, and this role he does do well in, in my opinion. And some of the other actors are, like, uh, kind of, like, it's kind of hard to watch sometimes because it's really choppy, the acting in the film. But... It didn't really bother me or take me out of the film at all that much. And I think there was a few scenes, like, there's this crazy, like, out-of-place fight scene at a bar. It's all I'm going to say. I didn't feel like it kind of, like, just made the film long, make the film longer. You know what I mean? But, uh, other than that, I had a blast with this. It's really fun. Is it, like, mind-blowing or amazing? No, but if you're a fan of, like, all the old, like, 50s and 60s films, this one has a heart to it, and Brett Piper poured his heart out to, like, give, like, respect to, like, Ray Harryhausen and Willis O'Brien, the true pioneers of stop-motion animation with the crabs. And the crab looks amazing. If you like your creature features, this one is definitely for you. I do recommend this, so I'm going to give this a solid rating of 6.5 out of 10. That's how much I had fun with this film. It's not a great film by any means, but it's a fun one, and it has heart. So I do recommend Queen Crab. Check it out. It has actually an in-depth like, making of, which is actually pretty funny, because the first like uh, making of is like, uh, they, can, like they were going to use models with like, Mark Polonia is like the... I wanted to use a real crab, and it's kind of funny because they make it sound like it was they were using a real crab the whole time. But it's really funny. It has an in-depth commentary with Brett Piper and Mark Polonia. Really fun stuff. But low-budget filmmaking, if you like to learn more about the those guys have been making films for years with limited budgets and effects of what they had. So def check out Queen Crab. 6.5 out of 10. Alright guys, that's it for day 19. I'll be back tomorrow with day 20. Hope you enjoyed this review. Like, subscribe, and comment if you've seen King Crab. Queen Crab. Tongue twister there. Let me know your thoughts on it. I like different opinions on films. So I'll see you later. Peace out.